We are here today with Dr. Richard Crowley, sports psychologist of sportsmaker.com and author of uh, Mental Ball. Uh, Dr. Crowley, I understand you've been working with uh, baseball players since 1983, starting out with Steve Sachs of the Dodgers. Uh, I was hoping you could share with us today uh, your experience of working with athletes in the Yips. Um, the Yips is a term that was taken from golf. Golfers would get the shanks, usually when they were putting, the shanks somehow they'd start to tremor. And it was called the Yips. Uh, in 1999, they called Mark Wollers, who was a closer with the Braves on the uh, USA Today in the front of the newspaper, says, yikes, he's got the Yips, and that's where it came from. The Yips will keep you and make you start to have to think in order to throw. You've grown up since you were four, five, six, seven playing baseball. And all of a sudden, you throw the ball one day, and it's weird. You know immediately this is weird. Every ball play describes it that way. It's, it's not just throwing the ball, a wild ball or something. It, 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 it all of a sudden goes into the ground or it goes over someone's head. And you know you're in trouble because you've never had it before. You kind of erase it from your mind thinking, that was weird. And then you go back to playing. Now, it could happen right away again. It could happen in the third inning, the seventh inning. It could disappear for a week or two or a month and sometimes six months and pop up again and again. Ball players have told me, from high school through major league, they've been battling with this on and off for years. It, it comes in, it may go out, some people you all know it takes their career away. But everyone goes through it from time to time. And all of a sudden, you start to have a doubt in your head. And the doubt in your head starts to make you think about your mechanics, something you know inside out at this point. When you're trying to think about your mechanics, you can't think and throw. It precludes you from it. So all of a sudden, all the advice you're getting from coaches, all the advice you're getting from your dad, from friends, can't go into your head because they don't know what you have. Because usually the ball player cannot put it into words. How do you tell someone, when I go to throw the ball, it feels like someone is holding my arm down? Or I go to throw the ball and my extension of my arm stops here. It, it grabs you with tension of the muscles. It grabs you in the wrist and the wrist, the wrist, there's no release point, you lose it. So everything you've been doing since you were a kid, you can't figure out. And if you go to tell someone about it, all they're going to tell you is to relax, don't think, and throw the damn thing. Well, try not to think of pink elephants. When you tell someone not to think of the problem, they are going to think of the problem, so the worst advice you can do is to give a ball play with the yips this. Another one is when a player has the yips and you give them visualization exercises to mentally rehearse throwing the ball or even hitting. This is for hitters as well as anyone throwing. Um, what it will do is they'll throw the ball or practice it and all of a sudden they're throwing the ball badly in their, in their visualization. And to let them keep doing that is basically programming them deeper and deeper into the negative. So the best thing you can do is people find me because they end up going online. They'll find me and some other people who work with ball players. My work is I've been doing it for since 83 and it basically takes you rather than giving you information. I give no information. I don't tell you what to do. I don't recommend my book. I don't recommend reading any book because any book on baseball self-help ain't going to take care of it. The emotion lays in the right brain. I have people come in and pretend to come up with an image that's creating their tightness, their anxiety, their nervousness, their fear, their dread. It just takes over. And in doing that, they can change images in their imagination, get rid of negative thoughts, those obsessing thoughts can go, the tension in your arm, the, the, the queasiness in your chest, your stomach, and the fear of throat, just letting it rip. You're afraid to let it rip when you have the yips. It can be taken care of in between two to three hours and 95% of the time in your imagination. And I coach you through a process, but you in your imagination fix yourself and get yourself out of this nightmare. And it's a nightmare. So if you want to contact me, it's sportsmaker, S-P-O-R-T-S-M-A-K-E-R.com. I'd be glad to talk to you on the phone about it. Email me, whatever. Thank you. All right.